Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and today I'm going to be doing a review about the Xbed Down Light uh, or Down Mat Light 5M. First of all, let me just tell you the reasons why I picked this particular mat and the reasons why I wanted to use a mat. Um, I'm going on the Camino, I'm doing the English route and I decided because the infrastructure is not so, so set as the French route or the Portuguese route, I'm actually going to try camping. So it's a bit of an experiment for me. Um, I'm at a certain age now where it's important for me to keep warm. Um, so I went to our local outfitters, I went to go outdoors and I thought I'd try a few of their mats there. Um, and I was really interested in the Thermarest and a few of the other ones which were ultra light. Um, but you know when you lie on them, they've got like a layer of foil and they was making so much noise every time I was moving on them. Um, I thought there's no way on earth I'm going to sleep on this. So I went back to YouTube, did loads and loads of videos and I stumbled upon on this particular mat. And the reason why I like this doesn't make any noise and the reason it doesn't make any noise is because it's filled with down so yeah it's really warm the R value is fantastic 4.6 R value um, and the weight is really light it's 620 grams but the cool little thing is it actually comes with this little let me show you if I open it up you get inside you get a, a repair kit obviously I've not used that you say you get a repair kit, but you get a five year warranty as well. But obviously if you're on the trail and you need to repair it, you can do. So that's good. This is the mat itself. Comes in a nice little stuff sack. This is the bit that I really like. Okay, so you get with it a pump that's actually in the sack as well. So not only, because you don't have to blow it in, you don't have to blow into it to actually inflate it. And the thing about when you're blowing into um, into a, any sort of sleep mat, obviously it gets moisture in there and over a period of time you get mould and that can't be good for you, can it? Well, that was my thoughts anyway. Can you imagine breathing in mould all the time? So this is great. So let me show you how this works. So it's a full length one. Okay, let me show you the outside. You see how it's got these little hexagons on it? It's got, it's got a nice feel to it, therefore, you know, your sleep mat doesn't slide off. So it's not slippery at all. Okay, so that's the mat out. I'm going to turn this over now and blow it up for you. Okay, we'll do a bit of a close up here where we actually blow up. Okay, so this is the valve. So if we open this valve up, and it comes with this little dinky pin. Can you see this pin? Uh, and the pin literally just goes inside and that's how you deflate it. But I'll show you that afterwards. So it's okay, so you're deflating it, but let me show you how to inflate it. So we take our little pump, which is made of the same material. We stick that over the top. And it is literally, it's just a compression. So you need to make sure your hand is over the middle. That's me doing it really slowly. You don't have to take your hand all the way off. Obviously you can just do it like that. Okay. So rather than me sitting here deflating it for two minutes, which is how long it takes me to inflate this thing, let me fast forward for you. Okay, so once you've finished blowing up your mat, when you, you can actually feel that no more air can go in um, and it is rock solid. So if you wanted to let a bit of air out, it's easy to do. So if I just take this off, nice and easy. Obviously I can just put that in and that's not going anywhere. Then if I turn it over, obviously this is the side that you sleep on. Um, and it's it's just got this nice feel to it. That's what I like about it. It's not slippy um, and it's really comfortable. And if I just show you the length of it, I'm five foot two. So I fit really, really easy on this. So I can imagine if you're six foot tall or you know, a bit longer than that, you might need the long version. They do do longer versions, but uh, yeah, I've just got the small one. <laughs> okay, right, let's let some air out. So 
So as I say, they've got this nice little product here where you can just let it out. And what I do is I, I just literally you put the pin in. And it just goes out nice and easy. I just left it like that whilst I was packing everything else away. Um, and then it just it just packs away really easy into the pack. So packs away into the pack. Did I actually say that? Yes, I did. Right. So let's pack it away. So the first thing we want to do is put it in half and then put it in half again. And then you have the fun bit. that's my Xbed Downlight 5N um, and I love it I've actually used it three times now outside not just in the garden but out actually on a trek so this is going to be my go-to sleeping mat for the Camino Inglés I'll let you know how I get on thanks very much for listening just want to say thank you so much for watching these videos we really do appreciate it if you're an Instagrammer check us out on Instagram we're posting photos on a daily basis up over there so I'll see you over there all that leaves me to say is have a cracking day and remember, go take a hike. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.